Uh, morning, Yi. Morning. Hey, Shibe. Hello. Hi. Hi, Cody. Patrick. Hey, Cody. Hey, Patrick. Hey. Hello. Hi, Cody. Patrick and Lenny. Hey, Shibe. Uh, Patrick. Uh, I hey, had it. Okay, I, I can ask. Hey, Pritesh. Hey, Pritesh. Hey, good morning. And good evening. Good afternoon. Good, good, no, good evening. Yeah, good morning to most of you there. <laughs> Let's wait for a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. you are, Femen. Hi, good morning. Hi, Vani. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I just want to switch to use the notary mm -hmm. Zoom meeting account, and uh, I want to test the live streaming feature in this meeting. So hopefully, if it works, I think our meeting recordings will be automatically up uploaded to YouTube channel. Yeah. I think Shui is saying something. Just testing microphone. Uh, nope. Uh, I think I'm muted. Yeah, I think Freeman, you were breaking up, actually. You mean my connection is not stable, right? Now it is stable. Okay, I can yeah, try. Yeah, now it's good. Yeah, now it's good. Now it's good. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe we can start. Uh, Toddy, I think Toddy uh, joined the KubeCon session. So Toddy yeah. will not join our meeting. Sure. And anyone from your side, you expecting? Oh, no, seven? we are good. We okay. are good. Okay. Uh, then let's start. Let me share the screen. So, can I see it? Yeah, can I see it. Okay. We have a few items. I think the most important is the RC4 release, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we, yeah, we are delaying for uh, two weeks. Now it's the third week. So hopefully we can get RC4 shipped by this week. Yeah. Thursday is what we are thinking, right? We should be able to. I think uh, some of the PRs that was open Friday has been taken care. Uh, I still see uh, like 601, 629, 627 all are merged. I think right now that is outstanding is uh, revocation and uh, I think couple of uh, uh, local sign, local signing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we 
previously we also planned the uh, uh, install plugin plugin installation, but I don't think we can uh, make it for RC4. We can we we have to move it close to RC4. Uh, I think for RC4 most important are certificate revocation, uh, sign, OSI layout, experimental feature, and also uh, the fundings uh, from the security audit last. Uh, Last week, right, and uh, I reposted the the PR from private branch in the notary security audit that private channel. So hopefully, Pradesh, because you are maintainer, so so uh, it had to be you, Pradesh, yeah. to, to take a look on. I will that. take a look to the on that one. I can do do it today. I have pink Pradesh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Cody. Uh, I think uh, uh, not. Not Cody, but yeah, I think uh, local signing, there is no much work there. It's only the review from the maintainers, right? All the comments have been taken care of based on what I see. Is that true? Uh, yeah, for the notation go, I think uh, mm -hmm. Shiva already approved it. Yeah, Shiva already approved. I'm uh, waiting for uh, Pritesh to approve. I think Pritesh already has it uh, in his queue. Right, Pratish, uh, the 288 one. You. Yeah, I just trying to prioritize other one for RC4. Is that for RC4? It was for. Yeah, this is RC4. Oh, I didn't knew that. I thought it was for Windows. Okay, let me try it tomorrow. Today or tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow morning yeah. or tonight. Yeah. And yes, what for about... RC, yeah, sorry. It's for RC4, and uh, between RC4 and 1.0. We, we don't introduce new features. We only address critical issues. Yeah. So we, we needed to complete all the all the features, including this uh, experimental one in RC4. So e, one question is, uh, notation pull request 595, uh, is somebody approving? while Pratesh is looking into other things because 0601 is merged. I think 288 is kind of dependent. And uh, yeah, this that? one this one depends on the notation go. Uh, OK. Dependent, uh, yeah, dependent on notation go. But uh, Shui or Patrick, do, do you see that you, you can review first? Uh, it's been reviewed. Uh, it's just waiting for the uh, notation go. Okay. So yeah. Uh, yeah so uh, as you can see, I said that uh, I it okay. looks good to me, but pending for the notation go merge. Oh, okay. The review okay. itself is not uh, is not uh, happened, but uh, it's just the comment. Okay. Yeah, the review. Should we already reviewed it? But due to we have a dependency on notation go, right? So after that, we will uh, approve it. Yeah, I see Shiva's comment, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm just going to send these two to Pratesh. So he has the, only the PRs in his bucket that is priority only. Okay. okay. Yeah. This two plus the security one, so three, and uh, uh, anything else from the certificate of revocation? Hey, uh, Cody, uh, do you have an update on uh, uh, revocation? Um, was the recent comments taken care of? Yeah, so uh, there were some new comments after uh, the most recent reviews after Friday. Um, I've been working on addressing as many as I can from them uh, this morning. Uh, I think there's only like five total or something between the two PRs remaining. Um, most of the scenarios have been resolved. I'm working to uh, finish up about like one or two more this evening. And then uh, everything else just requires, I think, a couple more uh, discussion points between people. Uh, so any... Uh, from Shui Pritesh, do you see any um, unresolved um, issue or, or any anything you want to mention, or you think it's uh, it's fine? Just uh, Cody needed to resolve those uh, 
comments. Yeah, there are some comments which just need to be resolved. Although I do have one topic to talk about. Uh, uh, let me see if I can find that. Oh, I will ping on the channel. I was trying to find that comment. It's for the vocation, and I would like a second opinion. That, so I think the comment which is about let me just ping the comment here, and we can open it. Uh, sorry, uh, pretend I didn't get it. Uh, uh, which one? Yeah, uh, Pritesh. Which uh, comment? This one. I just ping. I just pinged it on. Okay. 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 It's from. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's from the Kogo. Yeah. So, like, uh, possibly I just wanted a second opinion here. And so basically, I just summarize it. What the issue is. Uh, so in OCSP and CR, there is uh, usually CS includes CS are supposed to include two phrases. One is invalidity date and other one is revocation date. In revocation date, actually when an user goes and revokes and requests a revocation of certificates from CA, that's called revocation date. In validity date is a date when a user suspects that from this date my key was compromised, or from this date the really if effective from date for revocation. As per RFC, this should be two different fields. Revocation date should always be present, and invalid date should be optional. As per RFC, but what but for as per CAP forum. So this is like this is the CAP forum is basically a public governance body for all public like uh, uh, for all CAs, which sets the like baseline requirements for all the CAs and all public CAs should abide by that. Uh, CAP forum requirement says that revocation date and invalidity date should be same, and you should consider revocation date as invalidity date. The change I am suggesting, like the what I am saying, like okay, the, what I am proposing here is we ignore the cap forum requirement and just abide by the RFC. Because in our use case, there can be a private CA which might not abide by the cap forum, or they might choose to ignore it. And the the, the implication of this change is, for example, in when you're using public certificate and signing and doing revocation to define, but let's say if you're using private CA and you're signing with them and someone goes and revokes a certificate and they do, they said revocation date is current date and they said they don't set the invalidation date, then that becomes a problem. Does it make sense? Or I should write, oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I uh, for I me, I understand uh, a, a little bit, but uh, uh, I actually uh, ignore I, the Cody's comment. I'm just pointing to the previous comment, which is by me. The, yeah, this one. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this one. That's that's what I am suggesting here. What I'm saying is, let's stick to the current spec and not modify it here. Although CAP forum says that we should do it differently, but what I'm saying is, no, we shouldn't abide by CAP forum rule. We don't need to actually, I'm just saying, let's do what RFC says, not the not what CAP forum says here or recommends here, because CAP forum is usually for TLS and we are in code signing world, which is a bit different. Uh, Shui, do you have any comments on this part? Uh, I need to read the RFC document first. Uh, otherwise, I cannot comment. Yeah, I, I can sync up with this here after this call. Like, I can just provide you all the links and provide you a blurb on what I'm seeing here. So I can okay. do it after this call. I can share a blurb with Shui. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so this comment need, uh, need some further further uh, alignment. I mean, yeah, for, yeah. I mean yeah, it doesn't meet alignment. I just want to confirm my thought process here. <laughs> okay, just to confirm your yeah. comment. I mean, yeah, I, and, yeah uh, because yeah. We, we, we would be changing the way 
the way, like we would be doing something different away from what is recommended by CAP for them. So, yeah. Okay, but uh, for Cody's current implementation, uh... yeah, he is unblocked. I, I have told him not to look at the revocation date, which is the safest part. If you want to do it, it would like one liner change. If you want to do it in future, also. Okay. And it's it's a backward compatible change. It won't break anything. We would be just uh, removing a constraint from what we are en enforcing here. So, what earlier used to be considered as revoked now will be unrevocable. So it's a backward compatible change. Like the, the the side effect of like let's say if I go with we will go with this approach in future we want to do it different way. The side effect would be right now if something is considered as revoked in future it won't be considered as revoked. So it's 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 not like we are breaking someone. We would be just be more lenient on the revocation. In like payment terms, how we are, that's how I put it. Uh, okay, uh, anything else for the certificate revocation PRs? Uh, not, not, nothing, nothing else from my side. Uh, we also, uh, I, I remember I mentioned uh, last time, we also need uh, at least a very brief introduction to the user on how to use uh, this feature, how to enable this. So once we are launching RC4, uh, we need to have a short introduction to, to the users. So I'm not sure who, who can help to prepare that. Uh, oh. I can show, a, show an example. We, we have this uh, announcement block, right? We need to Tell the user what's the new features, and we needed to give a very brief introduction to to the users. So this time we will have a experimental feature, certificate revocation, and we also have the policy, uh, new policy commands. So we needed to uh, describe briefly in this uh, blog. The revocation, I said I'll go ahead and work with Cody. Um, okay. Maybe uh, tomorrow or day after we'll uh, we'll look into that and send the content. Yeah. Okay. I think you also created an issue, right, T? I remember. Yeah, you we, we we have an issue in the in the website repo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can. I, I can. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure whether you uh assigned it to Cody or, or yourself, but I will check and uh, assign those issues to you. Yeah, I remember talking to Yi or Payman and uh, letting you know to assign to Cody actually. Cody is already okay. aware of that, yeah. Okay. I think Cody need to comment on that issue first, then we are able to assign that issue to the commenters. Okay, okay. Let me check. And yeah, this one. Yeah. So, yeah. so maybe Cody, you need to comment. Maybe it's not possible to find Cody here. Yeah, it is not possible yeah. to find Cody here. Okay, I can comment on that. Okay. Uh, actually, this is uh a tutorial we will use, uh, we will show it on, on our website and from the RC4 allowance, allowance uh, block, it will be a, a short version. So we could extract useful information from this one. It's a little bit different, but uh, the content should, uh, should be uh, similar. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I think for RC4, 
uh, we still need to address the certificate revocation and prevent uh, we'll review uh, the sign or sign layout and the uh, and the security PRs. So we still have a uh, uh, at least uh, let me count five five PRs to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything else for RC4? I, you said five PRs, so. Yeah, so, so the yeah. revocation, we yeah. have a two, two right? Revocation, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the sign of the layout, we also have a two. And that there is an additional uh, security fix. So five total. Did I miss something else? No, that's good. Okay, this these are the uh, mandatory ones we we have to include. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the next is about uh, the government's update. Uh, actually, I did a pre uh, brief summary. So you see, uh, we we have talk mm -hmm. since the TOC member they create uh, two issues. One is under notary project for notation naming, another under notation repo for notation uh, naming. Um, I did an update yesterday. Uh, summarize what we did for notation naming, but also other uh, government's work since it has been more than one month. I think it's a time to update everyone to understand the current status. So, so we made some progress, but we still have uh, several uh, items uh, needed to to do. Uh, for example, we we have the security audit, right? The report will be released this week, according to the comments uh, from Adam last time. And uh, after RC4, uh, FEMA will trigger the notary project annual review, basically a PR submitted to CNCF. And once we have, uh, we are going to release uh, notation 1.0, right? We need to consider the release prompt. Uh, for example, if any issues reported later on 1.0, we'd better have a release branch for fixing it, right? Some some kind of branch strategy we needed to align and uh, enforce. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, governments and contributing guide, as you know, that we copy the government's documents uh, and also the contributing document from the notary project to the GitHub repo, dot GitHub repo, which is a, a government for for all the for the overall notary project. Um, but the Feynman and I did a review that especially for the contributing uh, document, we needed to do some some work to make it more uh, feasible for our current notary projects. So there will be some work need. Uh, for contributing and the sum for the governments. And we also need to align the process because uh, in the governments, it mentions some some timelines like six months is uh, a maintainer uh, uh, activities. So we also need to consider uh, the process for, uh, for the project health, like uh, the cadency to review uh, the activity of maintainers uh, to review the project uh, health related status. So there are something uh, left uh, for the government's documents we need to we need to do. Uh, and for the notation naming, we did some updates on the notation repo website repo meeting notes repo. Um, but uh, for the notation go and the notation call go, there could be also some reference or naming mentioned notary v2. Uh, we'd better fix those before uh, stable release. Uh, we do have some uh, reference in notary projects, but this one 
contains spec and the requirements, it, it's a bit uh, uh, more uh, complex than the code repo. So I, I think this one we, we need to take more time, but for the code related repo, we, we'd better get it done before stable release. Um, we, we, already, we already have issues for, for this uh, two repo race. Uh, I created the last time. And uh, there are other works. So all the works you can find it under this uh, planning board. We have this comments issue, this view. So we we have issues we we have done and some are in progressing, some are introduced status, and we also have a different priorities. So we needed to start from the priority one first, uh, priority zero first, then priority one, and for priority two, we, we can uh, we don't need to do it in short time. So this is the overall status. So I think uh, before 1.0, what we needed to do is uh, notation naming in Go repo, call Go repo, uh, and the security audit uh, to see the final report, if anything we needed to address once the final report released. Uh, and for the... Uh, amending the current governments and the contributing guide, this will, we will address maybe uh, starting from the issue to discuss and align the content, then we create a PR to address it. So this one, we, we need more time, maybe it will happen in May, post the stable release. Okay, any, any comments? Uh, I think that this is uh, what I shared. We are also linked to the third topic. I think this is from Wani, right? Yes, this is for me. Yeah. The reason I was uh, talking about this, this point, the reason I added is based on our meeting from Austin uh, last uh, week, uh, yeah. what's, what is our... What what are we thinking to take care of whether it is uh, for GA or post GA? What what our stance on that, right? Um, yeah. So yeah. that's what I was thinking. I, we need to we need to kind of discuss about that here in the community, and uh, before we go to the next meeting, right? Do we uh, all have a yeah. plan? Uh. Yes, I, I will share my comments first. So as I mentioned, we, we have the governments issue, right? We, we created the issue. So, uh, so for those issues, if we align with it, so we will mark it uh, for the stable release milestone. And uh, for, for this one, the security review, uh, I also created uh, several issues. Uh, let me open it. It's under notation. Yeah. Uh, I created yesterday. So these three that yeah, and Adam mentioned, uh, yeah, Adam mentioned uh, during the review. And we also have several document related issues. For those, uh, I think Feynman will create the issue accordingly later. And that will so, be under the project, is it? Uh, so, sorry, can you say it again? Will that issues be created by Feynman under Notary project? Uh, for document related, it's, uh, I think uh, for most uh, document related uh, issue will be under yeah, that's what, the, yeah, this report. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what, like, is there any call out other than I looked into three, these three issues and these are the issues that relates to a couple of issues on the list that Adam was sharing on Thursday and of course some of the document issues as well. So is is this 
all the issues that will be taking care of that is coming out of whatever was reported for the GA version, or is there anything else that we are planning to take care of? Uh, we have a, a one for the uh, security fixing that uh, we needed to include it in RC4. Yeah, uh, that, that, is that, that, is, uh, that is the most important one. And we also have these three. I think it, it's, uh, it's not, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's not a complex uh, issue. So we, we could just do some fix. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but we, we need to, yeah, uh, take a deeper look to understand uh, how much time we need it. But it's better that we can get uh, those fixed uh, in stable release. Yeah. Yeah. And also for the document, I, I see some documents we, we need more time, but uh, we need to uh, discuss about it. For example, some documents are related to the, to the for example, um, the best security, best practice when using notation and also uh, security consideration for plugins, right? For, for using yeah, plugins. plugins this... Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And what about the threat model? Uh, are we going to, because Byron is also going to take the uh, look into it and review it and final review on our side will go to Pratesh. But uh, are you planning to do anything on the threat model? That is for the GA and not RC4, I know. But it's kind of important, though we yeah. don't type RC4 because we need to make sure that is updated for our uh, security audit. So. Is there any anything you are thinking? Uh, from the thread modeling, um, based on the Adam's feedback, so uh, I think my understanding is that he he uh, his idea is the current one we did is good for him. Uh, I think we need to address uh, the comments from internally within the notary community. But uh, I remember uh, Adam mentioned that uh, they will share there. Um, thread modeling thoughts from different angle, right? Uh, but that part, we need to uh, wait for the final uh, final report and, and okay. then decide whether we need to include something new into current thread modeling. So okay. if, uh, yeah, let's wait, uh, let's wait uh, for the final report, then we can decide. But uh, for now, we can address uh, any internal comments. From, from Byron and the Pritesh later after RC4. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, so hopefully we can at least have a version ready uh, uh, around the stable release timeframe. Then we can address other, other threat modeling uh, consideration later. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, in terms of scenarios, right? You are, you are yeah, not yeah. scenarios. Yeah, sure. Uh, do we have uh, one security audit meeting this week, Thursday, or we don't have this week? Uh, I think we don't receive. I, I don't think we will have one this week. This if week is, is the is the last week, right? Sorry, yeah, exactly. who, who is That's the speaking? Reason. Yeah, that's the reason he, I was speaking. 21st is the last day, uh, according to them. So Thursday, if, I'm in, uh, if you can schedule one, at least we'll know if there is anything new. And we, we should be able to look into that meeting, right? On uh, 20th, this 21st is the last day, according to what was called out. I will confirm with OSTF guys, Aiden, to confirm if we have another meeting for this week. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Either we can have Friday morning, which is your Friday evening, I think, right? Or Thursday evening. Either way is fine, Thursday or Friday. If Friday makes sense for Adam, we can have Friday. It will be probably you guys have to adjust the timing. Or I think Friday would be better, Femen, because 
that way they will have a better update yeah um let's confirm the timeline and the schedule uh in that slack channel maybe we need yeah. more folks to align for the schedule yeah sure Okay, um, I think uh, besides the um, governance issue, I talked about uh, security audit issue. We talked about uh, one more thing is about some UX related issues. So, uh, Wani or, or Samuel, or, or you can work together to, to see whether any uh, COI related usability issues or error messages you think is most important for uh, to fix it before stable release, then we can uh, also mark those issue for stable release as well. So we need uh, basically we need a list, right, to to work on for the stable release. Mm. Yeah, we if we plan in early May, so basically. If we uh, release as for this week, basically we have a two at most a three weeks for for stable release. So we needed to have a list that we needed to focus uh, after as for. Yeah, sure. So let's uh, yeah, I think our C four we need to get going at, on this Thursday for sure, so that we can focus on the G. Yeah. So. Uh, I think for governance and security audit issue are more clear. Uh, and for the usability issue, you can filter the author by my name and uh, also Todd's name. So they are around uh, maybe uh, le less than 20 issues, but uh, uh, we, we can select the most important one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, hopefully we can we can have a list uh, this week so that mm -hmm. we can, uh, yeah, the team can start working on that after RC4. Okay, so maybe sure. you can um, and provide the list from your side and I will provide the list uh, from my side. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, so anything else from Wani and the other people? From no, yeah, from the, my side, yeah. that's, it. that's that's exactly what I wanted to convey. I'm good there. Pratish, did you have anything? Uh, let me check the participants. No, nope, I don't have anything specific. Oh, sure, thanks, yeah. I uh, also e for the next one notation intro video uh, myself Pratesh and Samir uh, did take a look at it and we think it's uh, it's good no changes actually so Femen uh, it's good if you guys think uh, it's good I think we should be good so before you go in the sense are you are you publishing it today your time um I think uh Sire shared, shared uh that he um gathered some feedback from AWS internal teams and uh he need to, he needs to incorporate those suggested changes into the final version. So I think okay. everything will be ready tomorrow and we are going to publish this video tomorrow and uh integrate this video on the notary landing page. Okay. Uh, thanks, Freeman. I uh, I have a question. Uh, did you pass the uh, pass our comments to Sai? We we have a several yeah, several yeah. comments. Yeah, we have incorporated all of all of those suggested changes in a doc. Let me post that link. Okay. So before the final publish, uh, I think we needed to take a funny look, right? Uh, yeah some some yeah. items i think uh, especially for the signature signature uh, type uh, that's three, we, yeah 
that's when we needed to fix because it it has the not really v2 reference it's not right so we needed to fix that at least that one correct and we currently we have three suggest change sent to Saya for this video and uh, let me share the link so if you guys have any comments on that video you can also add the suggest change to this hack markdown then Sai will okay. be able to see those changes. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can uh, talk about the last item. Iman? Yeah. Um, the last item is related to the CNCF LFX mentorship mentorship program. Um, before I introduce this program, I would like to uh, briefly uh, introduce our current mentee, Bing Chi. I see Bing Chi is currently uh, joined this meeting. He's and he's a mentee of he's a mentee of the notary CNCF project for. HashCorp Vault plugin. I'm not sure, Binchi, if you are able to um, open your microphone and video and say hello to everyone. If not, I think we can um, introduce our mentee Binchi in Slack channel offline. So, Binchi, let me yeah. know if you want to say hello to everyone later. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, welcome, Binchi. <laughs> yeah, actually, Binchi is, as I mentioned, Binchi is a uh, CNCF LFX mentee who joins Notary Project and the responsible for the HashCorp World KMS plugin uh, for this program. And uh, we recently re received the updates from Patrick and Binchi that they have. Um, they have uh, they had a demo for the uh, for the HashCorp World plugin last week, and uh, hopefully we will have a guide to test this plugin with notation uh, maybe in this week. So I think this is a good progress for the CNCF um, LFX program in the first turn. So back to the uh, program itself, it is still open for more projects to apply for this program so Eve, could you open that link and uh, by the way i have introduced this program to uh, pritesh and i know pritesh you mentioned your team uh, your team is very interested in this program so i'd like to uh, briefly introduce the timeline of the second term of uh, this program as you can see from the table the second term of LFX mentorship has started for application uh, this month, and it will be closed on May 3rd. And after that, mentees will be able to apply for um, that program. And uh, this program is sponsored by Linux Foundation and uh, CNCF is very similar to an in internship but uh, you know uh, the community will not pay for the internship the, those in, those um those mentees but CNCF and the Linux Foundation will pay for uh, those interns or we say mentees so I think this is a good opportunity for us to engage more uh, university students who are interested in notary project and uh, for some good first issues So this is amazing. Any... Yeah, this is good for me. I think you had shared something like this like a few weeks ago or a month ago. This is good. Yeah, I I think I didn't get the time to walk through this program uh, maybe two months ago. Uh, but this time, I, I think it is not for everyone to understand what we are doing for 
the Hashkov World plugin, the first uh, CNCF IFF program that we did. And uh, now is the second turn of this program. I think we have the opportunity to apply for more projects uh, from Notary community. So if you want to submit proposals or project to this program, uh, please submit before May 3rd. This is a deadline for the pro proposal exception. So basically two weeks, right? In two weeks. In two, yeah, I was about to say in two weeks, we need to know what, what is the project, right? For, for this mentorship, right? Correct. Okay. Um, may, maybe uh, female, you can share also an example how this project proposal look like so that uh, one year pretesh they can yeah take it as a reference. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I can share the program that we submitted in the first turn and also some. Uh, project ideas from other sense of projects. Let me forward the link to you guys. Okay. How many applications will be accepted? Uh, do you have any idea, Freeman? Me, uh, sorry? How many mentors will be accepted into this program? Um, I think one mentee for one project, but um, okay. in in but in each turn, I think we have uh, opportunities to submit uh, no more than three okay. proposals, always the projects for each turn. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anything else we want to discuss today? We we still have uh, thirty minutes. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, for Bing uh, uh project, we need to create a new repo uh, to host the uh, source code of the Hashcode Bot plugin. So you mean a new repo under Notary project? Yeah. So, uh, Feynman, uh, uh, I think you have some ideas, right? Yeah, actually, maybe we can uh, try migrate the repo from Finch's personal repo to our organization. Or you wanna, or, or you wanna suggest creating another new repo? So basically, uh, the idea is on the notary project, we will have a repo sub project as subject for different plugins, right? So Binge's uh, uh, current work is for the Hashcorp world plugin, right? So we will have a uh, one more repo or sub project under this uh, the the whole organization, right? That's the idea, right? Yeah, I think the choice is that do you want to migrate the repo from Finch's personal uh, repo to our org, or we need to create another new repo to then those source code? Uh, I think we can create an issue to vote for uh, this new repo whatever we want to migrate or create a new one? Uh, first of all, uh, we should create a new one uh, so that we can set up proper uh, pipelines and the workflows. And then uh, uh, Binge will send a PR to this repo and merge all his code. OK, gotcha. Um, maybe, Feynman, you can help to create a, <coughs> sorry, create an issue first to list uh, the proposal. So that uh, uh, we can or uh, review the proposal and the vote for the next step. Yeah, I will create an issue to ask all notary maintainers to vote vote for.
the new <laughs> sub project and uh, after we get agreement on this proposal then we can create a, a new repo mm. and uh, for Pritesh and Vani I just shared the uh, issue related to our first turn the Hashcop vote came as plugin for notation this is the proposal that we submitted to CNCF LFX program uh, yeah. two months ago and I think you can take this as a template you can create issues for the ideas that you want to submit to this program then we can sub then we can send a PR to uh, CNCF repo thanks Ben. Uh, anything else? Yeah, if no, let's give back nine minutes. <laughs> yeah. It is it, this <laughs> happens. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.